All right, so today we're going to talk about the and and or rule of probability. And so this basically states that whenever you hear the word and, you multiply, and whenever you hear the word or, uh, you add. So basically what that means is, for example, if I had, um, if I had two dice, I'm going to go back to our uh, dice problem here, and I had, if I wanted to find out the probability of getting a, say a three and a six, right? So a three and a six, right? Two fair dies, I roll both of them. And the prob I wanted to find the probability of getting a three and a six. So what we would do is we'd figure out the probability of uh, first finding or getting a three, which obviously, if it's a six-sided die, fair. Uh, it's a six-sided fair die. You know that to get one of the sides out of the six, it's just going to be one sixth, right? So, so one sixth, and so we multiply here. The probability of getting a six on a six-sided fair die is again one sixth. So you multiply these, and you get that the probability of getting a three and a six is just going to be 1 over 36 okay so now if we flip that around and we say that well what's the probability of getting a 3 or a 6 this time well we know again the probability of getting a 3 is going to be 1 6 and now this time since we want a 3 or a 6 we add and obviously the probability of getting a 6 is the same 1 6 you add these two fractions, you get 2 sixths, which is just 1 third. Right? So if you think about it, um, if you say you want you know, something and something else, you're actually putting more of a restriction on what you want, and so therefore the probability is going to be less as compared to, say, if you wanted a, you know, something or something else. It could be either one of those two, and so therefore you have less uh, of a restriction, and so therefore the probability of either one of those things happening will be greater. So hopefully this helped, and uh, we will see you all in the next video.